I'm here with Patricia Lance at Incline Village. Patricia, tell me a little bit about the Incline Village lakefront market these days. Last year it was booming. You couldn't keep a lakefront on the market. This year it's dropped off considerably. We have a couple of homes that did go into escrow, but it's, um, it, it's slowed down. So do you think it's slowed down because of people not being able to get loans or people just not being interested? or I think it's more sitting on the fence, deciding what they're going to do. Um, I, I don't think that um, the market has changed that drastically yet. Last year was the biggest market we have had in probably uh, seven years. And now I think it's leveled off or slowed down, and people are just waiting to see what's going to happen next year due to the election. When we were chatting, you just told me that you'd put your home in escrow, 21-day due diligence, and 30-day close. Now, how did you do that? Price it right. That's the key today. Price it right. Have it looking picture perfect. Um, know the market. Know what your competition is. And get the excitement out there. And it really is a matter of not putting it on the market with the hope that you'll get an offer and you'll think about it and it might be a low ball offer price it to sell and if you were telling a seller uh, one piece of advice you think that pricing would be it I think pricing obviously how the house shows you want to have the curb appeal you want people to come in and have a feeling very inviting know your market know what you're up against and if you're really not serious about selling, don't put it on the market this year. If you can hold on to it for a year or two, hold on to it. But if you have the desire to sell it, if you have a purpose to move on or the money you want to place someplace else, you can do it. And how about buyers? What would you say to buyers? No, I think if you find a property that you are passionate about, make an offer. I don't think there's a bad um, offer out there. Just sit down, write up an offer, present it. But I also think if you're going to hold on to a property long, long term, get what you want. You might have to pay a little bit more, but it's worth it because you're going to have it for the next 15, 20 years, and you're going to make money on it. Thanks so much, Patricia. Great chatting with you. Good talking to you.